Yo, what's going on guys? It is Tom Marchie and we are back with another match reaction. Obviously, as you can tell, I didn't go to the game today because I couldn't, I, I just couldn't afford it. Um, um, and by, by the sounds of things, um, obviously, as you can kind of tell, it didn't really go our way. Um, and it's probably a good thing I didn't go. <laughs> um, but no, yeah. Um, obviously... Yeah, he has finished Charleston Athletic 1, Peterborough United 2. Um, we'll obviously get into it, go go over a few things in the video. Um, talk about the goals, talk about transfers, whether I'm Appleton in or out. And yeah, let's uh, get into it I suppose. Obviously, first of all, well, thank you for 900 subscribers. I've not really said thank you for that. Um, that's... Rosie, by the way, for people commenting in the uh, uh, things, by the way. Um, but yeah, thank you for 900. It means a lot. Can we try and hit 1,000 subscribers by March? That would be an absolute dream. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's uh, get into it, I suppose. So yeah. Right, so first off, let's obviously start with the lineup as per usual. Um, lineup was a bit different. It, there was five changes, which is, which we don't, we're not really used to, um, as a chart on time, I guess. Um, so yeah, the lineup was Ash in goal, Jones, Ness, and Thomas at the back in the back three. Um, Eden, Bakinson, Dobson, and Watson as the four in midfield, or Watson and Eden as wing backs, if you like. Um, and then the front three was Tyrese Campbell, Chem Campbell and Alfie May back in the lineup which which was a big big positive cuz I didn't think he'd, he'd be back for an, a few weeks. Um obviously he's been missing a few times. Uh obviously big uh miss from the lineup was Corey Black Taylor. He's apparently injured. Um so obviously t take that as you like obviously as well during the game there was a post, a tweet about ha that we had turned down a bid from Derby, uh, 250k or something like that. So yeah, uh, obviously, uh, hopefully he does stay. Um, and yeah, uh, obviously Hector as well, not in the lineup. Uh, apparently he does his hamstring in training or something along those lines. So it's not not great, <laughs> uh, obviously. Uh, bench as well was it was. Daniel Carnu, Louis Watson, Connor Coventry, Louis Fiorini, um, Curry Anderson, Nathan Asimwe, and Harry Eisted back on the bench. So yeah, let's uh, get into the uh, game, I guess. Right, so the game started. Um, obviously, I, again, I wasn't there, so kind of just followed on the uh, tweets and everything going on. And from what I saw, we 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 that first half was is probably something that we can probably forget um <laughs> it's yeah it's, it's it's probably a first half that a lot of fans could easily forget and wash out of their mind very quickly um we didn't ha we, we had one shot in that half in the first half um and it just it just didn't click i guess obviously with the players but yeah um got to the half hour mark 28th minute uh, ball comes in. Uh, I think their player holds it up uh, and then passes it back to Mason Clark. And it was a good finish. Ash probably, I mean, he couldn't really do much about it. Uh, defending could have maybe got closer, maybe potentially. Um, I don't know, but it was a good goal, I'll be honest. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to say it's not. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a. Uh, Interesting one, obviously one nil, going in at half time, one nil down. Kind of used to that this season, I suppose. Um, so yeah, uh, obviously that happened. Then half time came. We made a few substitutions. Both Tyrees and Chem Campbell both went off for Louis Watson and Daniel Carnu. Probably change into a four four two. Probably changed a few bits of that. Um, yeah, obviously. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great at all. Um, coming out the second half, 
scored. Alfie mate, I've I've actually not seen his goal. Uh, I can't find a clip anywhere. So if I do, I'll put a, a clip around here somewhere. Um, of of what it is, because I mean, as I said, I've I've not really seen it. But he's he's now on twenty in all competitions, which is brilliant. Um, I mean, it's, it's very rare that Charlton get a a player to get. 20 plus goals in a season and it's only January it's mid-January and he's already got 20 goals it's mental um, then obviously I thought okay maybe we'll push on a little bit bring uh, bring some players on bring Coventry on bring someone like that on um, and then it got to around us 75th minute I'll be honest um, I, I, I have seen his goal a Peter person tweeted it ran down the right maybe Ten, ten, I probably should have got closer to him. I'm not sure who was on that side actually. Um, yeah, it was, it was ten. I should have got closer. He kind of ran into the box, sort of like Corey does sometimes, um, and just kind of slotted at home. We could have definitely done better defending that. Uh, definitely could have done a lot better. Um, which, which is good because um, now we have obviously brought some people in. Which is a big, big, big positive for us, and that was obviously that's that's pretty much game set and match if you like. Um, it's obviously not great losing. Um, however, it is now something to build on, and I know that it's like I think it's four, four defeats in five, eight eight games in a row without without a win, uh, something along those lines, and fourteen games. Without a clean sheet, which is disgraceful, is <laughs> is is quite literally disgraceful. Rosie trying to get in the video, <laughs> um, but yeah, it is 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 not a good look for a side who was predicted to finish in the playoffs this season, which clearly is not happening um, unless by some miracle we. Um, we uh, sort our stuff out, I suppose. Um, now, if I look at the momentum on a foot mob, they were all, all, all over us. Um, pretty much all the game, apart from our goal, and of course, the last 10 minutes. Because that's when we always seem to switch on. But we didn't concede for once um, in, the, in the 90 plus minutes. Which I think, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, is the first time in eight games we have not conceded in that amount of time. Well, I mean, we still conceded in the last fifteen minutes, but that's that's besides the point. <laughs> um, that that in the table though, that pushes Posh up to second. With Portsmouth losing, they are now one point behind Portsmouth with a, get, with a game in hand as well. That also puts us thirteenth, um, seven points from the drop. 12 points from the bottom um <laughs> it's 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 not a good look if we're, if we're being honest um and it's probably not going to be a good look for us this season because i think i think every fan has kind of kind of come to the conclusion that we are definitely having another season in league one because we ain't gonna go down the players in our team won't let that happen because i mean it's, it's, it's just a good team um, like we have, we have the players to sort out and everything like that. So yeah. Um, obviously ended two one. Um, as I said, not really great if we're if if we're being completely honest. Um, however, all three new people, new faces were in the match day squad. Um, Lewis Fiorini and obviously. Backinson signed last week, which big big positives by the way, um, in that midfield, which kind of tells us sorry that maybe one or two could be going. Um, Fraser potentially he wasn't in the squad at all; he was just just dropped completely. Um, so that could pose a question as as to if he's gone. Um, so it's very good bringing him in, obviously, and then. Yesterday's announcement: Connor Coventry was on the bench. He came on, ran the seventy-sixth minute. Good to see him uh, get his first few minutes as a uh, 
chosen player. From what I've seen on Twitter as well, all three impressed, all three played well, but as as we say every single video now, there is still a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do, a lot of things to do. Um, obviously, Johnson, Clark, Harris, that situation, I guess, is all into his hands. It is kind of dragging on, if we're, if we're being completely honest, because... If I'm being honest, if he wanted to sign, he would have signed by now. I know it's all about money around his age, because um, obviously he wants to settle down. He wants to kind of get the end of contract, end of career contract, if you like, I, I, something like that. Um, yeah, I know we're in for another two as well. I think it's now Ennis and Ladapo again from Ipswich. So it is nice that we've got a bit of options if you like um it is nice but it's obviously a lot needs to be changed a lot needs to happen if we're gonna start pushing up the table a little bit more um we're not gonna get playoffs there's no no chance in hell uh it's very close in league one though so anything can happen anything's possible so yeah um i'm gonna try and get to the next few games home games of course because the games is out of my finance reach. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I suppose <laughs> um, it's not it's, it's not great. Sorry if you can hear the alarms, people mouse. Um, but yeah, it's not great. The form needs to turn around. Charlton needs to turn around. Everything just needs to change if we want to get out of this division, and. It is. It is. It, we were. We were going in, in a positive direction, um, with signing players, three and a half year deals, back in soon, and obviously, Fiorini are sort of future prospects, if you like, if you want to try and sign them next season. Um, so yeah, it's, it is. It's a bit of an interesting one. Um, I'm so sorry about the alarm in, in the background. Hasn't been turned off yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, I'm going to leave it here. I'm kind of waffling on it again, like I always do. Um, if you do guys, yeah, if you do guys, if you guys do want to potentially see me, Tyler and Josh and Resilience, then make sure you come down to the Charlton Women's Game against Brighton on the 24th of this month. 7pm uh, kickoff Wednesday down the Oakwood. And then... The 21st of January, 12 p.m. against Blackburn, back in the league. I'm going to push for that uh, promotion spot because it is very close and we are joined top still. So, yeah, make sure you get down there. And, yeah, I will I guess see you in the next video. Let's try and smash 15. No, we, we killed that last time. Let's try and smash 20 likes on this video. Um, and, yeah. I suppose I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Make sure you smash that sus subscribe button if this is the, my, the first time seeing my face. And let's try and uh, get to that 1,000... Uh, I can't speak. Let's try and get to that 1,000 subscriber mark, mark. So yeah, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.